hey what's up quarters welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to create a heading and a subheading in flutter project i'm using android studio so let's get started okay so if you look at this code it's the default boilerplate code provided by flutter when you build your flutter project for the first time and this is how it would look on your emulator so I'm just going to clean up this code and um, uh, we'll start working uh, on a fresh page. So I'm just going to remove all this um, comments and then I'm going to remove this home page and this stateful widget, the floating button and this one. All right. okay there you go so before i start uh, i'm not going to use any more hard-coded string i'm going to create them in a separate file as i've done here so all you have to do is right click on the lib and um, create a new file called dart file and i've provided uh, provided the name of the file as strings.dart it's similar to your android strings.xml where i can store all my strings hard-coded string and give it a variable name and then I can refer this in my main dot so similar way um, like strings dot XML so first thing I gotta import um, the package so it's gonna be strings dot dot and um, I can use the hard-coded strings here just by using the class name strings dot abbot title and it's that simple so all i have here is my main function and my main my app widget which is a stateless widget and um, the return type is the material app uh, here i'm using a theme uh, i'm not using a prime swatch i'm going to use prime primary color with a new custom color so i'm going to say new Rather, I'll copy it instead of typing. It would save some, save some time. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is the customer that I have. And um, next thing is uh, we need a home scaffold. Okay, but do not worry about the formatting. If you are missing the format, just right click and just say reformat code with dot fmt. It would do that for you. And also ensure, um, okay, this is for my understanding. I always add a comment just to know which one, which brace is for which um, widget. So this is for material app. And this is for the scaffold. Okay, it's a comment. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an app bar. Um, I'm keeping my app bar very simple just by adding a title to it. Um, and I'm going to use the text of this app bar from my strings file, which is strings.app bar title. There you go. And then next, moving on to my body section. Um, I'm using um, list view in this case because we're gonna display the um, heading and the subheading one below the other so just to keep it simple I'm using list view okay and then my list view next I'm using a children widget and in this, I don't want to keep adding all the widgets one below the other and make it very complicated to understand. So I'm going to create widget, um, custom widget like title section. And I'm going to define this outside it. So it's easy to debug and if someone else is looking into your code, they'll easily understand it. So my title section widget. So 
So, so I place a container first. Okay, my container has a child. Since I'm displaying it one below the other, I'm using a column attribute. Column. Okay, as mentioned earlier, I'm just I'm gonna comment it. Okay. So in my child, I'm gonna add children widget and I'm also gonna add this I'll let you know what this is when I sh get the output on the emulator so okay just to give you an, a brief des description about it it aligns your text heading and it gives space around both the sides of your text so you have space around you have space evenly space between start end so i'm just giving space around okay and then next inside the children i'm going to create a child okay this is my first heading it just ignored the error for the moment uh, i'll come back to come back to it later um so I'm gonna add the text here by using the strings file and I'm gonna say app okay I'm gonna say I have a heading title so I'm gonna use the text here so it's no more hard-coded and then I'm gonna say style okay, okay style and that's the text style so what are the attributes that i'm going to give to this particular text is the color and the color is same as the primary color okay then i'm going to give a font weight which is bold and then I'm going to give a font size which is 30 dot okay now the reason that you're seeing is I need to give a padding so I'm quickly going to give a padding to this child Okay, um, there you go so you have the padding surrounding the child element now let's okay there you go you already have it okay this was the app bar now let's see if I hot reload if I could see the heading here the emulator mm. okay then let me give a quick build okay there you go you see the first one is the title screen this is my heading okay I think my title screen is not right so um, okay yeah I know why it's title screen does not use text in it it's, so it's just the strings app bar title So it says the argument type is a string and it cannot be assigned mm, I think that was right uh, let me check let me hard reload it one more time 
Oh yeah, that's right. That's my title screen. Uh, I got it. So that's right. So yeah. So you can see the heading here. Well, you can see the heading here. Now to create a child, I mean the subheading, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire padding part and reduce this to 20 and make this as app subheading title. So this way, this section is your heading. So it has a children. So this particular container has two children. One is your heading and another one is your subheading. And it is one below the other because we are giving a column to it. And now if you do a hot reload, you can see the subheading as well. So, okay, I need to give a quick build. And there you go, this is my subheading. So you can change the color of the subheading, you can change the font size. So this is how you get your heading and your subheading in your flutter and another quick tip if you want to remove this red ribbon called debug uh, it's possible so I'll just show you how to do that go to material app and say debug show check mode banner false and if you give a quick hard reload you can see the banner will be disappeared there you go